welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're probably here because of J to the low. So I did a poll on Instagram um, on like what you guys would like to see. Uh, do you want to see me recreating like Kim K's makeup or JLo's makeup? And it was almost like 50 50. Um, but so yeah, I'm just going to do both starting with J to the low. And this is something that I would definitely wear like going out or whatsoever. I'm really like into the brows. So JLo's pushing me to do more natural brows and I'm liking it. And I've used some new products in this video as well. So without further talking, keep on watching so i'm not sure if i'm ready because i'm so unprepared and i have this like vision in my mind that i put like all the makeups that i need for the tutorial in one place and you know like sort it all out uh, but if you see my table right now it's a mess so people are telling me like asking me how i keep my hair healthy because i bleached it so many times and uh yeah this is reality guys dry and super frizzy uh, so yeah, this is my hair. So we are going to get rid of that. So you guys probably know by the title of this video what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to recreate this beauty right here, which I did like two two years ago. Oh my god, time is flying. I think it was like, yeah, two years ago and that video went like viral. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to like um, transform myself into JLo. It's just going to be a JLo inspired Met Gala 2018 look and everyone was talking about like Selena Gomez which is super pretty as well and you guys probably all know I did a tutorial on her look as well but everyone was talking about Kim K her makeup was stunning um, and then Selena but I was like hello why is not everyone talking about J to the low maybe because I'm a fan of her but I was offended I was like girl where's my girl so since I'm not prepared at all, I'm going to like take the stuff I need and uh, be back. I don't know if you know what this is, but this is a Turkish cookie and this is just like so good. It's called Etipuf and if you're Turkish, you know, girl. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Some things I'm going to try for the first time. I will have kind of like a first impression thoughts about some products that I haven't used before. Um, so yeah, let's get started. You might already know, but I'm going to start with the eye. We're going to use a lot of glitter. I am not going to start with the face to prevent any fallouts, but we are going to moisturize the skin and put on some primer. So the primer, you know, does its job and let everything sink in before we head on to the face. This is a prep prime priming spray from Urban Decay and this is called Rebound and it says radiance boosting. I've used it a couple of times but I've used it in like so long that I don't even remember like what I think of this one but it says radiance boosting and you know JLo is all about glow, all about like being radiant and illuminated so I thought this might be a good primer for this. The thing that I'm kind of scared of is her brows because as you can see, let me zoom in, um, they are way lighter than mine and they are also more like on the taupe side. I know it looks kind of warm on my camera, but it's more like a taupeish blonde gray color. So I'm going to use some concealer on my brows and dab it with a beauty blender. And this is to actually to lighten up the brows. I know it looks like ridiculous but I do have like a permanent tattoo underneath and it is slowly going away, but I just want the, like, the canvas to be completely blank so you can only see my hairs. This is the reason why I take like the little stuff you get like for free in hotels. Um, I always like use a liquid soap, so I don't need like a solid soap bar, you know what I mean? Mm. But this one I got from a hotel and I was just like, you know, maybe I'll need it for traveling or whatsoever. When I found out that soap was like the secret for bushy brows, I just like grabbed soap like everywhere. So if you're in a hotel and you think like, this smells really good too. But if you're in a hotel and you use like liquid soap all the time at home, just bring it with you so you can just, you know, have bushy brows yourself. So I'm going to wet this side of the brush and I'm going to like go over the soap until it gets a little bit more, you know, like liquid. And then I'm going to brush up my hair.
just combing my brows but as you can see they are very like the hairs are very separated so for brows i'm going to use the anastasia brow pencil and this is in shade caramel her brows really like have this caramel perfect color and i'm going to actually fill all the gaps but i am trying not to do a perfect brow So I'm just doing like some strokes, nothing like in one straight line. So something like this, but I'm still going to take a little bit of a darker pencil. So that is going to be the Brow Wisp from Anastasia in Chocolate. And I'm going to define it just a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of the blonde brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills to apply just a little bit in the beginning of the brow. I'm going to start to use like more pencils and powders instead of, in, instead of like pomades. Um, by the way, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape to prime my lids with and this is in the shade medium. But yeah, as always, I will like link all the links and the, the products that I've used um, in the description box so i'm using the armani brush in number 21 to blend this i'm also going to like define my brows a little bit especially here it tends to go really dark here do you see like how much coverage this concealer has? It's insane. So I'm very excited because I'm going to try this baby out for the first time. And honestly, I was going to do a Kim Kardashian tutorial first. I'm going to do that later today. So wish me luck. Um, but I felt like, oh my God, I really need to try this one. So yeah, I just wanted to do G the JLo look first because the colors are like a super glam glitter jlo um you guys probably all know the first original palette also like the rose gold palette but this is the remastered so it means that it's better the formula is better the texture is better and i could already tell actually by looking at it um because these shadows usually when a shadow is kind of like uh, i don't know how to call it like mm, like very like soft it's almost like that you can press in it it has a really good pigmentation it reminds me of the shadows like the foil shadows from Tarte Cosmetics it reminds me of the Mochi palette from NYX Cosmetics and I don't know I feel like everything that's a little bit like on the softer side is more like very intensely pigmented I'm going to try this one and I'm like very curious what it's going to do so first shadow I'm going to use with my Morphe 504 brush is this color right here which is called Sandalwood which was also in the other palette, of course, and I love this color. Really see that it has a lot of pigment, so you get a lot of pigment on your brush, and I barely like pressed it. I can already tell that that is definitely more pigment than the Rose Gold palette. Oh yeah, definitely. So this color is very pretty. So I'm going to build this color up, and this is just going to be the base so you're not going to even like notice this color anymore and by the way i don't know if you noticed but do you see like kind of like a subtle glow on my face apart from like the blemishes i think it's from the rebound spray and i'm really liking it love it sandalwood i love the shade i'm going to use a cocoa but just a little bit because if you see her makeup it's just like um she has a little bit of a dark shadow so it goes from light to dark i think it's actually quite an easy look to like recreate um, but she has some sort of a shadow going on so from light to dark but not too much so i'm trying not to overdo this part i'm going to use the shade coco and i'm going to use that with bh cosmetics number six from the festival collection So I'm just adding shade and I'm blending it and just adding it and blending it. So that is what I do. If rose gold is like your favorite palette, I would definitely do an upgrade and by buying this one. So I see a lot of glitter going on underneath her eyes, like above her eyes, underneath her eyes, under the brows. So I think we are going to work with uh, the glitters from the uh, Huda Beauty palette and also 
with pigments i'm going to use dubai and 24k dubai i'm going to use a little bit more like to the outer words of my eyes and then 24k more to the inside oh um gee this is beautiful do you see the pigment this is a beautiful color okay now i'm going to use 24k with my oh this is nice Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Ooh, I... Okay guys, so if you have the rose gold palette and it's like one of your favorite palettes, um, I wouldn't mind to spend my money on this one because I can already tell you that it's just remastered, remastered. I think it would have beauty did great by doing this. Okay, so to make it a little bit less like yellow golden, I'm going to use blessed, right? Yeah, blessed, and I'm going to and I'm going on top of the gold shade, just a little bit higher. To make the eyes a little bit more glittery, and I love NYX Cosmetic Shimmer. Um, I'm going to use this beautiful shimmer from NYX Cosmetics. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. So we've applied the NYX Cosmetic Shimmer and Almond. I am going to see if I can like do the transition a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more smooth, if you know what I mean. I'm going to use the one of my favorite palettes, the Foil Finger Paints palette from Tarte. And I'm going to use this shade, one of my fave, to um, put it, and it's a, a little bit more of a cool toned color, but I think it's going to look very nice if I apply it. A little bit on the outer corner. Do you see the difference? I don't know if you can see it, but I can. It's just a little bit smoother. Let's clean this up. I have to say, I have no fallouts or whatsoever. We didn't use very dark shades, but still the cocoa was quite dark. Um, but yeah, no fallouts. So we're going to finish off the eyes later. I'm going to use a foundation that I haven't used before and I'm very excited to use it because as you can see it's still in the packaging. It's Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet sweet thick cream. And I honestly can't wait to smell this because Too Faced, you're just not, like the smell is just like so good. Everything, everything they make, like the smell is incredible. This is in the shade Golden Beige. Okay, we're going to use Golden Beige. Yeah, the shade, the smell is really good. And you guys probably are wondering why is she using a matte foundation when she's doing J Lo? Well, because I want to have a dewy finish, but only in the places like where I really want that high. This foundation, guys. Oh my God, is this going to be the first matte foundation that I like? Too Faced? Too Faced is stepping up their game lately, honestly. So I'm going to use two concealers, Tarte Shape Tape in medium for the coverage and kind of like to correct as well because there's a peachy undertone to it. This goes perfectly together, guys. If you have these two, please try it out and let me know what you think. The second concealer I'm going to use is the Maybelline. Maybelline. Um, fit me in fair and this is to really highlight everything she's pretty highlighted under her eyes also on her forehead I feel like all the products that I'm using right now is just becoming like 10 times better with this foundation for some reason I feel like we're pretty highlighted also I'm going to blend these edges because I usually never see JLo with like harsh lines on her like eyeshadow so i'm going to blend everything later I'm going to use the peach perfect uh powder from too faced now the important part because we are going to contour her contour is always like which i really love and i really love that on my face as well it's quite low on her face and i think that's beautiful because like we both have quite long faces and I just think this makes everything look more, I don't know, looks just way better. And I'm going to contour a little bit first with the taupe from MAC. Uh, this is a blush by the way. And then and then later I'm going to use the Give Me Sun by uh, MAC. So I'm going to 
contour with this, bronze everything up with this one. Using the BH Cosmetics in number two. Chin. And the sides of my forehead, I'm going to do with the Give Me Sun. So this is actually to like have this shadow going on. And now I'm going to give this a JLo bronze golden glow. So I'm going to use a lot, guys, because that's just typical JLo. She always like, I really love that she always like contours this part of the of her face. So this is a pretty harsh like contour, but honestly, guys, she has a harsh contour as well. Is she wearing blush? Yeah, she is, but like very tiny, tiny, tiny bit. For blush, I'm going to use Too Faced again, and how cute and pretty is this? So this is the Love Flush, How Deep Is Your Love blush, and I've used it a couple of times, and this color is honestly so beautiful. I'm not like a obvious blush kind of like person but this blush is just i don't know it's just the perfect color for every look that's it so the, you see the contour is blended a little bit better now i'm moving on with the eyes i'm going to use the same pigment that we've used for the eyeshadow and now i'm going to use it on my lower lash line and darken it a little bit up with coco from huda beauty until about here so just the outer corners oh my god huda i'm loving your palette girl to highlight my brow bone and inner corner i'm going to use bubbly which is this shade right here I can't seem to find my eye pencils, black eye pencils, because I still have like everything like in boxes and in like bags and stuff that I still need to unpack. But I tried this tattoo signature super liner from L'Oreal. It's actually like kind of like liquid, but um, it does work. So why not? It doesn't hurt on the eyes as well. Okay, so I always think that if I don't like blend the black eyeshadow, my eyes look very like like tired but for some reason she looks really good with it quickly going to apply these miami lashes which are still new um from lily of course and i think this is going to be the perfect kind of lash for this look so now my favorite part lips and highlighter because we are missing some jlo glow but we will fix that in a minute wearing a nude super pretty first lip liner which is darker than like her lips and then a very nude gloss on top. Should I use this one or is it too dark? I don't know, I'm going to use this one. This is Golden Rose Lip Liner in number 518. We're going to blend the lip liner in a minute. So now the lipstick, it's Too Faced in Doll Face, which is very nude. to blend the lip liner into this lipstick they are over lined and they are asymmetrical but I'm just going to put it gloss like on top and like try to hide what I did um, this is goals from those of colors honestly those of colors has the best glosses if you're looking for a like the perfect gloss this will make your lips like like 10 times bigger and fuller and plumpy and fluffy and soft and everything like I'm really a fan of them okay so just going to use a lot of gloss and she's wearing a lot of gloss so last but not least we are going to give this face the JLo glow I'm going to use the ColourPop highlighter and this is recommended by Karen from I Love Sari. Uh, from Karen is I Love Sari, and she recommended this so if she recommends something I need to buy it. Uh, this is the pressed powder cheek highlighter from ColourPop. I've used it twice and fell in love. 
Makeup Addiction small contour brush for this. And I'm going to wet it um, with Rebound Priming Spray from Urban Decay. Oh my god, this glow is so pretty. I know I'm doing a lot, but it's J-Lo. What do you want? That's it, guys. That's it for this look. I love how it came out. Honestly, it does like look like something that I would wear. So yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you liked that I tried some new things. Love the foundation from Too Faced. Love the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And... I love the NYX glitter, the pigments, and this gloss is bomb. Plus, I really like the lipstick as well. So yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, and it's all called Tina Sawa, as you probably know. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next, probably, Kim K video. Bye!